Shalom, this is Dean Bai with Return Ministries. If you're a follower of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, please take time to hear the heart of my son-in-law in the following video. Especially if you are concerned over the content of extremely misleading videos circulating in Israel and abroad, and subsequent news articles in both Israeli and foreign media regarding accusations against the Christian Zionist organizations both Chaim and I lead in our relationship with partnering Israeli organizations. The path is narrow for Christians and Jews to be working together for Israel. Thank you for your prayers. Let's all take the higher ground in all humility, standing for truth, and ensure that in the face of injustice, that we take off our soldiers' boots and lace up our sandals of peace. God bless you. Shalom, friends, global family, faithful helpers of the needy here in Israel. My name is Chaim Mailspin. I'm with the Aliyah Return Center Registered Charity here in the Galilee, Israel. I'm a Galilean. I'm also a Jewish Israeli. Uh, decades ago, I read the prophetic scriptures, and as a family, we made our prophetic journey called Aliyah here to the homeland. Uh, but I also understood through reading the prophetic scriptures that God has a plan for the nations in Israel to connect, to be friends, to be together. Uh, Years ago, I made the decision to be a bridge, to give my life as a connector between the nations and Israel and raise up ambassadors for Israel globally. But not only helping Christians understand why Israel is indeed the lens through which God sees the world, but the joint prophetic future that God has for us all. Our mandate is to assist the return of the sons and daughters of Abraham to Israel from around the world and help them be settled as well as help the many needy here in Israel, especially after Corona. Walking this out, we have learned how to effectively respect, honor, and love one another unconditionally without imposing what we believe on anyone. With this attitude, we began to work together and form relationships with various governmental institutions and agencies. We've also been able to transform a former boarding school here in the Galilee along the Jordan River with Christian volunteers, injecting over 13 million shekels in renovations, volunteer hours, and equipment with the backing of over 50 nations. Here for years, we have taught and equipped Christians to serve the Jewish people unconditionally without one complaint of proselytizing. Christians and most Jews historically have held many disagreements. However, there is much that we do agree on together. Uh, one such agreement is the serious warning found in the Bible, one of the Ten Commandments called, Thou shalt not bear false witness against your neighbor, Exodus 20, verse 16. You may be aware that certain articles have begun to circulate throughout the internet in various publications that the Alia Return Center and Vertical Galilee House of Prayer, a Christian place of worship here in the Galilee, is truly a secret hub of aggressive imposition of our faith on others. This is quite frankly absolutely false. Anti-missionary people have begun to accuse us falsely as a Christian Zionist organization of not being true to our mandate of unconditional love and uncompromising faith, but instead of that, that we're engaging in a covert campaign of proselytization forcefully. This organization has borne false witness. What's more, they've spun a narrative by manipulating, maligning messages, videos that we made for our Christian friends and audience around the world, our teachings in our Ambassador Academy, uh, and they've twisted that and tried to formulate a story that we are actually an enemy of the very people that we are helping. And unfortunately, the Jewish agency leadership, after receiving this in an email, has felt this attack. We at present await the formulation of a response concerning the future of our partnership status with the Jewish agency. We trust that a day would be forthcoming where the bearers of false witness would be discouraged and cowardly, despicable means of destroying trust and bridges built for years would be dismantled. Their actions have brought unnecessary dissension between individuals and organizations that have taken bold steps to mend centuries of horrific injustice. This is certainly a point of prayer. So to you, our Christian Zionist supporters, members, friends, family, uh, we thank you for your continued prayer and support as we walk out this journey together for God's greater glory. With the Lord's help, stay, pray, learn, serve programming was only gonna get stronger through all this. For all of us as well, when travel opens up again, regardless of what happens concerning this strenuous time of relationship with the Jewish agency, we continue 
our mandate of return and restoration, helping with alia and absorption and the growing number of extreme poverty-stricken people throughout this land. We will continue the mandate that God has given us to work together for Israel. Thank you so very much for standing with us in prayer and for God's best. Aliyah Return Center.